Hi to all. Technically, the South Bank of Taj isn't Lisbon anymore, but Almeda. Let's go. On a menu, street art, panoramic views, and urbex. There is hardly anyone, so make the most of it. To take a ferry to another side of the town on the opposite bank, give Lisbon a Istanbul like here. Or maybe Hong Kong and New York also. Meet in Calles do Sodre to get onto the pier behind the train station. Several trips to several destinations. Casillas is the one that interests us. The South Bank in Lisbon becomes year after year the cheapest solution to live in the Portuguese capital. Real estate prices have exploded with the arrival of tourists and many Lisboners take ferries to go home. A hero something and 10-ish minutes later, you are on the other side. Casillas is at first glance, many fish restaurants notably and the main street going up a hill. Until then, nothing new in Lisbon. Another path runs along the river following disaffected warehouses. Fish canning industries used to be there, as well as other activities connected to fishing and boats. It is always a good place to come with your fishing road or to discover some street art. It is quieter, without cars, and fresher and more pleasant at the center of Lisbon. Urbex fans can have a look at the eviscerated warehouses to find some less obvious murals. Many structures fell down, or are about to. You need to watch out where you put your feet. Going up the river, two restaurants offer pleasant terraces by the waterside. It is recommended to book or expect to wait if you want to grab a bite. It is easier and faster to have a drink. Pass the restaurants and you are in Boca do Vento. You have at this point a beautiful view of the city and the port. But wait until you take the lift on the side of the cliff to be eyed wide by the water mass and the boat sailing the Taj. Go deeper into the city and its lane towards the southeast to get to the statue of Jesus King. Can 30 minutes walk with a bit of a climb. Almada looks like small Portuguese city with a mix of older and lower construction and higher and more modern ones. It is much quieter than the center of Lisbon. If you have the time, it is also cheaper to grab a bite here. The statue surroundings area is as charming as a parking lot. The statue built in the 50s corresponds to the ideal of progress of the area, with cars and concrete as a horizon. Statue of Christ King, 110 meters high and 40,000 tons. A statue inspired by the one in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, as a thanksgiving to God for the peace that Portugal knew during the Second World War. The promenade in front of the statue offers an incredible view on the Taj. On 25th April Bridge, looking like the Golden Gate Bridge, on Lisbon comfortably spread on several hills. If you decided to take the panoramic platform, the view is even more impressive, towards the north as the commuter's town in the south, or the statue itself, the hands and the expression of the Christ. To go back where you come from, turn right at the entrance of a place and take a small path going down to the river. You will arrive at the old fort that became Quinta da Arealva, the copper producer. The Amadin place is in ruins and artists give it some colors back. Also here be careful where you walk, as the still standing roofs and floors risk to collapse at any time. The atmosphere is lunar and the view on the bridge is incredible, especially when the sun sets. Then you just need to follow the river to return to the pier, discovering on the way more street art. You will find more info about Lisbon in description. Let us know if you liked the video by leaving a comment. You can also subscribe to follow and support us and discover more cities in an original way. Be curious and enjoy the stroll.